26th day of August 2008, former rebel leader for the IMPFL, Prince Johnson, said that you had wise men, a wise man committee, when you were chairman of the Interim National Assembly. And these wise men, he wrote a 12 count, 12 print count to you on what he considered the ills or deviation from your instructed mandate for the iron interim government, IGNU, and he wrote those 12 points to you. After two weeks, he was invited. He was invited to the, your Duco. And these 12, these uh, wise men, later he invited them to his office. In fact, they went to his office on his base, abusing his words. He told them to tie them. Among them was a pastor. So he locked them up, each one of them, and gave them a cartoon of Bacardi to drink and said that if they did not drink the Bacardi, he would, quote, kill them. Could you please, he could not remember the names of the wise men, except there was a pastor. Uh, could you please give me for history the names of those you consider wise men, if you remember, <laughs> perhaps a vice or whatever you consider but wise men that were locked up. Your time of reference will be those who were locked up for more than a week or so and giving with Bacardi to drink. I can recall two of the four people. I think there were four. Um, one was the late Ambassador Fangalo. The other was Dr. Jabaru Kalon. In the case of both men, first, Fangalo, this man was an old man. He was way up in his 70s, if not perhaps early 80s at this time. The treatment that was given Fangalo, as repeated to me by Fangalo, and again, I guess, uh, he, your witness is admitting, involve forcing these people to take large dosages of alcohol that they did not want to take. S having them sleep in facilities full of driver's, driver ants and subjecting them to all kinds of humiliation. With respect to Dr. Callon, and he is here and can tell his story. He was forced, or they forced him because he didn't voluntarily do so, to put his hands in a bucket of urine. And they ordered that he should then take his hands, take up, scoop up the urine and, and, and drink it. He refused. Men were ordered to force him to do so. They succeeded in sticking his hands in the urine. But he said to them, you will have to shoot me, but I am not going to open my mouth and put this urine in my mouth. Dr. Kalon is here in Monrovia and could tell you his ordeal. I hope during the course of this meeting the names of the other two people would come to me. But there were four. And these people went basically of their own volition to see if they could bring some sanity to the madness that was occurring on that base. And that is what they got as their reward for trying to be peacemakers.